Hi, in this video I am going to create a web page using Bootstrap 4. So firstly I will create a simple structure using HTML and then after I will uh, use the classes of uh, uh, Bootstrap 4 and uh, the designing part you will find uh, by uh, when uh, I will use the Bootstrap classes right so in the coming videos i am also going to cover uh, some new features of uh, bootstrap 4 so you have to be consistent with all these videos which are really fruitful for you if you want that uh, you could able to learn bootstrap and even you can uh, create some creative uh, web pages for your websites as well and uh, for now uh, i have actually created a simple web page for you and uh, exactly the same page I'm going to create so that you could able to understand that how we can create the web pages right so I have created another file layout1.html on which uh, uh, right now there is nothing so let me open my editor so this is the editor on which I'm going to code so here is HTML and the whole structure has been over here let me delete some content from here so that you could you would not confuse anymore right so here I am going to write the title layout one and here I am going to link the CSS of bootstrap 4 so for now I am going to use the CDN and uh, you can also search uh, the CDN on the internet and I am uh, uh, and one more thing that you can do is you can go through the W3 schools uh, tutorials of bootstrap and in every example you will find this link yeah right so I'm going to copy from here and then paste it here right for now I am going to delete this right so now you are now able to use bootstrap for features right so firstly uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to create a simple structure of HTML so inside this specific div I am going to uh, uh, write h1 tag firstly you can also do one thing that uh, you can see this structure right so what is first this is heading and then after about us paragraph and button so one by one we are going to create so here is the heading my website and then we have another div and inside that div we have one more div and inside that div we have to write h4 tag and inside of that we are going to write about us and underneath the h4 I'm going to write a paragraph and here is some lorem ipsum text so if you will see up to now this is something I'm going to copy from here the text and I'm going to paste it here and again in the next section what is this div and here is one button so in the button we can write some label click me and now if you will see on the output screen you will find something like this right later we shall designing uh, do the designing part by using boards uh, bootstrap classes for now you can uh, create simple structure and then after we have images so here is one more div inside this div we are going to create one more div and here I am going to write img src and then alt alternate text and then width 
and then height right so the same thing we will repeat for four images right So here are four images. <clears throat> so what I am going to do is, uh, I am going to uh, use images online from online. So here is one image, and I am going to copy this link, and then paste it here. Sorry, okay, sorry. Again, I am going to copy from here, and then paste it here. And the second link is from here copy and then paste and from here I'm going to copy and then you can paste it similarly this fourth image and I'm going to paste it here <coughs> so in this way you can use the links as well as you can also use the images from your local system right in the alt text image one you can use image two similarly image three and here image four so this is alternate text width let me check one thing firstly we have to run this and now you can see that the size is not exactly what we are going to ex expect right so one thing we can do is height width sh should be 100 percent 100 percent and here is 100 percent so let me copy from this this should be 100 percent So now you can see the output. So now you can find out that every image has the same size, right? So now what what is going to left behind, which is uh, these are some footer part. So now we are going to create some extra div for footer div and inside of this div we are going to write some more divs and inside of this we are going to write some heading h4 and ulli ul because we have the list of links so we needed ul and li okay great so what we are going to write here is for say example contacts Morum Ipsum content should be here so again I am going to copy this A 
and paste it here. Again, going to paste it here. Yeah. So now, if you will see on the output screen, you will find out some changes which are like, yeah, this contact. So what you can write is, you can change according to your need, right? So now we are going to move towards the designing part first. So firstly, uh, we have to think about the my website heading, right? Yeah, my website. So this should be in the center and this should have the background red so how we can make it happen firstly we have to use a class here class container in this way there would be some space on the left and right side of our web page and then after one more thing is text justify yeah in this way your text would be justified and now we come up to the h1 tag which is class text white and bg danger and one more thing is padding 5 and now you can see on the output screen this is exactly what we were expecting and now we have to use one more class which is text center right so now exactly the thing is done and now one more thing is that in the next div we have to use here class row right and in this row we also have needed some margin for example margin 5 and then inside of this we have columns call 8 and this column would be call 4 right if you will see now the output this is something like this right we have to keep it in the center and about us should be also center class text center and text primary because the color should be primary and next is button so we have to align it align self center and we have to give some classes to the button btn btn success oh sorry we have to use class btn btn success right so now if you will see on the output screen this is something like this right and click me should be in the center so we also have to write here text center right so now this is the expected output and we also needed some border so you can also right here border so now border is also available now we have to manage the images so how we will image uh, manage is we have this general div here we have to write row 
and inside of this we have to write column and the column each column should be a three because we have four images and four into three equal to twelve there must be only twelve columns right so here we also have to write <coughs> class column three similarly we have to copy this and then paste it everywhere yeah so now if you will see on the output screen the exactly the images are on the place exact place right so now we have to manage our contact means footer so the footer part would be we have to write here class row right and one more class is bg danger sorry dark so now if you will see on the output screen you will find out that this is exactly in black color right so we have to write text white and here yeah text white and here are column column should be a four size right so exactly the same thing we will paste here and also we will paste here so now yeah this is looking good oh actually we needed only three columns so one is extra actually we have three but we need okay we are going to delete one okay that's okay so now exactly the thing is that we could able to create the web page which we were expecting right so we have needed little um, margin above the footer because the footer is completely touched with the images so we are going to write here margin my means up and down means uh, vertically on the y-axis there would be margin of for example three so let's see yeah this is good and we also needed some padding so you can use padding three which is looking exactly the beautiful one you can also increase the padding and one more thing is that for example in the footer part you have used copyright Muhammad Ramzan right you can also use that so how you can use you can keep one more div over here and here what you have to write is you have to write a paragraph copyright m percent copy right and here you have to write class column 12 and one more thing is you can also use here hr tag horizontal ruler <clears throat> and again you can give it the 
color sorry class bg white yeah and you can also keep the paragraph in the center so text center yeah great thing is going to happen actually we created the exact web page which we were expecting before so this is the web page which we were thinking that we have to create so right now we have created the uh, layout one so in the next video we will move to the uh, uh, slider might be you have seen that there are carousel carousel means uh, there are images that slides so how those sli uh, sliders would work i will discuss in the next video so please firstly focus on this specific layout how i have used the classes and you need to understand that what class works where and how we have implemented so that you could understand that uh, why bootstrap is so easy and what it is going to provide to us right so this is really simple for us because uh, uh, this is really easy to learn as well so yeah right now we have to give some background to the whole page so what you can do is you can use bg light yeah yeah so now the bg is light background is light so this was all about in this video so in the next video we will come up with the new features thank you so much for watching this video all the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free so in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos in the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any have a nice day ahead